Hi everybody, Boca Tov. All right. So for art today, we're going to do an upcycled art assemblage. So we're just going to assemble a bunch of things. And um, your art teacher at school probably calls it a maybe a found object sculpture, something like that. Um, before I start, actually start the lesson, I'll show you um, <clears throat> a sample or two that I made. I had made a whole bunch of samples, but then I had to finally get rid of them because they were like all over the place and I couldn't stop collecting things. So, oh, right, so before we do anything, um, first I'll do the supply check. Okay, so you have newspaper to put underneath if you could cover your table with it. And you've saved or collected paper towel tubes, toilet paper tubes if you have them. Um, you have um, a nice piece of flat cardboard or a cereal box or the top of a shoe box is fine. Um, pencil. Um, you'll need the pencil. I, I think I'm going to be okay. Scissors and a sponge brush or old paintbrush, and I like the little ones. I find them easier to use, okay? And really, you know, get, get a good amount of glue in your cup, because for this project, you need to use a lot of glue. Okay, so that was it, small cup full of white glue. I think we're okay. Oh, yes, if you have, um, make sure that you have some markers in case you want to use the tag board oh i also asked for um yes colored paper and if you could cut if you have colored paper just cut it into some thin strips these kind of strips are great and i'll show you what we can do with them in a little while if you have if if you have saved um I had also asked about if you had a had file um, file folders. So that's for the tag board. If you have file folders, you can make the strips out of the file folders. Just con cut cut thin strips, and we'll make tabs out of them to make stuff. Okay. So um, samples that I was going to show you. Okay. So here's, here's one I made as my model. And this, I did the designs on the file folders before I did anything else. Um, it's much easier to do that um, than to do it after it's already attached. This is a spring that I made, and I'm gonna show you how you can make, you can make much longer springs. You can make them do all kinds of things. This is, just, I just, you made curly papers out of these and I accordion folded and kind of made like a little picnic table here. And the day after you make it, if you can put it upside down, everything holds together. I'll show you another sample. And this I did really, oops, quickly. I need these. Um, this is one that I made and just painted it gold. Okay, so it just, you know, you do anything you want with it. You've got all recycled type objects that I'm sure you might have had some good ideas too. I actually, I was going to add this one um, with the little toys because um, that means something special to me. And I'm going to find a place to glue this one onto this sculpture. And I also had, yeah, this is something else. I've had this since I was in fourth grade, nine years old. It's It's got a, a Star of David, a Magen David. And it's it's a bookmark. It says, may the Lord bless you. It's just something I, for some reason, I always saved it. So anything personal that you have that you want to make a part of this sculpture, you can do that. Legos, anything like that. Okay. So I'm gonna put this away. Well, maybe I can keep it right here. I don't think I'm gonna need it for anything. And I'm just gonna show you how to start off, okay? So if I'm starting another one, the first thing I usually do is I usually use the tubes. And remember I said use a lot, a lot of glue? 
And this is what I mean by a lot, a lot of glue. You just take the tubes and dip them in and you've got like a pool of glue. And I'll put one over here for this one. I'm just gonna glop, see, um, like this is one of those things where you don't say, oh, save the glue, save the glue. This is one where you want the glue to really be there so it can attach, it can dry. And, um, oh, just for something different, I just cut out the bottom of the cereal box. I didn't do anything much to it, but you're, I trust your imagination, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh graders. And when I taught this, it, when I made these in public school with um, kids, I always had a second and a third time when we would add things to it because everybody used to like to come in, turn it upside down when it was all hard, and then we always thought of extra things we could do. So I'll leave with this one just like this for now. Okay, so if you don't have colored paper and you have um, tag board paper from a file folder, it's a good time to get out your Crayola markers. It doesn't matter whether they're Sharpies or water-based. And, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the floor for a little while. No, I'll put it up here. All right, that won't bother us. So, now you can't even see it up there. All right, so I'm kind of gonna make um, a design that'll really show up. So instead of just making, you know, like a line shape design, I'm just gonna do big dots, just because the color will show up better. And if I had more time, I'd be making more designs, but I have to really just start you off. So for me, I just like to make a little tab to glue it down somewhere and another little tab. So I made an archway, but you can keep building off this, like I said. Um, you don't um, have to dip it, just don't worry if you've got a pool of glue, because that's always good, nice and gluey. And I'll just put this one back here. So, um, ooh, this is just like a fun thing. There's no limit to what your imagination will do. I have these crazy yogurt containers. Maybe I'll put this somewhere and build on it. Actually, maybe not. I'm going to put that aside for a while. Um, okay, so if you have the construction paper, very easy. I like to take the thin ones especially. You can make as many of these curly things as you want. You just, that's why you need the pencil. It, pencil's really better than, um, pencil's really better because you can make the curls tighter. So you can start doing this kind of thing where you have these curly cue things coming out all over the place or however many you want. That's that one. I don't mind sticking my finger in here. I just dropped the curly paper. Got it. Okay, so you find a good spot. So what do I have so far? I've got an arch, I've got a box that I'm gonna do something with. I'll probably paint this. I'll probably do something with the box later. And I have like a tunnel type thing that I can build on. Um, so the other thing is accordion fold back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can do accordion fold. You can do whatever you want. You can fringe it. Um, you could do a combination of accordion fold and a curl. And I'd normally be probably thinking about this a lot more before I do any, a little bit more anyway. It's fun to just go with the flow too. 
All right, so that one can go there for now. Okay, so whatever you wanna do with um, construction paper markers. I took this one, um, I painted the can and um, started to make a design after it dried with the markers because I used acrylic paint. So this is another thing I would dip in here if I were gonna use it. Sometimes the cans get a little rusty. Okay, um, all right. So the last thing I was gonna show you is how to make a spring. Okay. The paper dropped somewhere, so I'm gonna have to use two kind of odd things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an L, okay? Or a backwards L, however this is coming out. I've got my ceiling fan on again, so if it's a little crazy in here, it's because things are flying around everywhere. Soon as this video is done, I've got to clean up my studio because you should see my floor, all the papers and everything. Okay, so I'm making an L. I put a little bit of glue and you really have to be, I like to glue it. You could staple it, you could tape it, but I like to glue it because I like to paint a lot of these things. Um, so just hold it, to, I, when I have little kids, I tell them to hold it together for a long time and I have them count. Like, I'm not gonna make you do that because the glue is pretty slippery. So once you have your L, you just take, I'll take the green piece, fold it this way. I'll take the tag board and fold it down this way. Fold the other paper across, fold the next paper across, 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 until you come to the end and you've got the makings for a big, not a big spring, but you've got a, a regular spring, a little bit, a little bit of glue, another little bit of folding, squeeze, 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 open it up, and I made a little spray. So you can use, you can make long strips of paper and you can make big springs. You can make big springs that swoop over and whatever else you have in your mind, you might have straws, toothpicks, popsicle sticks, um, and you might want to just leave it overnight, come back tomorrow and do a little more to it or paint it. Oh, corks, I forgot. Corks are good, little boxes, and these little cups are from the, uh, the Keurig things that you put in the Keurig makers. You just clean out the, the, the coffee after it's done, and they make kind of little tables and things. I just kind of like to imagine... I don't know, little tiny people or animals <laughs> that are going to an amusement park or something when I make these. I don't know, they're just kind of fun. It's kind of like one of my favorite projects. So, in case you couldn't tell, um, I think that's it. I think, that, yeah, curled paper, pretty ball. Okay, so you can always add more tomorrow if you'd like to. Don't forget, use pools of glue, blobs of glue. Oh, the best part, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're done, you probably still have a little bit of glue in there if you have any room anywhere. You can just turn it upside down and let it be part of your um, creation. Might be a better place for it, but. I'm gonna work on this. But you can always try to use up all the glue that you have left, okay. So that's it. That's your found object assemblage, your um, creative upcycled. We upcycled it. We didn't recycle this stuff, we upcycled it. So, all right, so. Um, Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.